Ah, receive your call now. It has been ringing since. Ah, it's even daddy. Did you not was here? I'm on my way, sir. Oh. I will be there in a moment. Why you are still sitting down? Yeah. Assistant pastor. AP. Kept me waiting. Oh, sorry, sir. Where's the report? Here are the detailed report of what we realized during mission week. How much is it? The people responded very well to mission support this week, sir. The missionary from Gambia spoke passionately about it. Then your message, your message on mission was something else. About 12 members of the church dropped their checks during the call for support after the message, sir. Okay, so, um, Pastor Joshua, how much was the missionary fund offering? Uh, well, the treasury team calculated everything to be 1.2 million naira. What? 1.2 million naira? The Lord actually rose on behalf of the missionaries this time, sir. Sir, are we actually taking everything to the missions? Was it not contributed for missions? The king to mission? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Uh -huh. Launch the money into the missions account tomorrow morning. By Thursday, it would clear. And we we'll disburse it to our 15 various missionary posts around the country. What about our uh, Titan offerings? Yeah, yeah, sir. 450,000 naira is a tight, and the offering collected was 720,000 naira. Okay. Um, give the money to the church treasurer. Let him pay it into the account. Uh, brethren, we thank the Lord for his move during the service this morning. It is my prayer that. The Lord will reward your labor of love. It is well. Thank you very much. Thank you. God bless you. Thank you. Uh, sir. Uh, yes, A.P. Uh, I didn't want to talk while the king was around. Okay. Sir, I beg to disagree with some of your decisions. Which one of them? Sir, for God's sake. Must we take everything to the missions? Why can't we give them 
uh, at least half while we keep the rest for the running of the church. Are there missionaries serving in this church? I am the resident pastor of this church. And the church pays my salary from the headquarters. We also deduct a percentage of the tithes and offerings for the running of the church. The missionary offering is contributed for missionaries and it goes to missions. Sir, we could pay some percentage for administrative costs. But the church is already paying the salaries of the six members of staff. I'm not talking about church workers. What I'm saying is AP. It is the rule of this denomination to raise donations for missionaries and fund special missionary projects as led by the Lord. We have massively invested into the lives of our missionaries. By the grace of God, we now have about 60 missionaries in about 10 remote zones in this country and in five West African countries. They need our money to survive. Sir, some of us do AP. Let's leave it the way the Lord has led the church, which the church council elders know about. Okay? All right, sir. I'm on my way, sir. I'll be there in a moment. You sent for me, sir. Ah, oh. Pastor Joshua, sorry to have called you so urgently. I could actually have discussed with you on phone, but I believe we might have one or two things to talk over it. Over what, sir? Uh, I want you to handle the miracle service tomorrow. Why? You see, I will not be around. I have a ministration in Benin City tomorrow, so I will want you to handle the service. I believe the Lord will give you the words of his... I'm sorry, sir. I will not be around tomorrow for the miracle service. Why? I have an appointment elsewhere tomorrow evening. Uh -uh. Pastor Joshua, why do you absent yourself from church activities and church services without any permission? Several times you just absent yourself from programs. And when I ask you, you don't have any tangible excuse or any reason to give. Why? Please, Pastor David. You are my superior, and no one is contesting that with you. You don't have to know all my movements. Please, my brother, Pastor Joshua. No one is asking to know about all your movements. I mean, but whenever it clashes with the church program or church activities, I think I deserve to know. Uh, well, I apologize, sir. But I won't be around tomorrow evening. May I go now, sir? Okay. The Lord bless you. Sunday, there is someone at the gate.
Grazie, Pastor. Ah, good afternoon. Good afternoon. Ah, good afternoon. Ah, brother and sister Joel. Thank you, sir. The Lord bless you. You are welcome. Um, we have come to see you, Pastor. Eh? Uh -huh. um, sir, you prayed for us concerning the fruit of the womb during the breakthrough service of March. That single service dominated our childlessness of eight years. Really? My <laughs> wife is now six months pregnant. Ah, we oh, bless God. God. We can't thank you enough, sir. Amen. Thank you very much, sir. You just stay close to God hmm? and be committed to Him. And He will perfect all that concerns you. Amen. The Lord that started this good work will complete it today. Amen. 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 Thank you, sir. Um, we have come to appreciate you. This is a token of our appreciation to you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you, sir. The Lord will bless you. Amen. He will make his face to shine upon you. Amen. The Lord that started this good work will complete it for you in the name of Amen. Jesus. Your expectation shall not be cut off. Amen. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. My dear, why are you up at this time of the night? I've been standing behind you for the past 10 minutes. You didn't even notice me. For how long are we going to be managing life like this? Eh? The pastor has no feeling for us at all. I am tired of being an assistant pastor. Tired of being an assistant pastor? We have to wait for the last time. Yes. We will wait for our time while all other benefits pass us by. He takes all the glory of our running around. He eats all the fruits of our sweat. He picks all the benefits while we labor and do a lot of running around. And what's of all? He listens to no advice. Has he been turning down your advice? What happened to all the tithes and offerings and the missionary offerings that run to hundreds of thousands? They send missionary offerings to the mission post, I suppose. And the hundreds of thousands of Naira tithes and offerings. How do they go? Anyway, you are the assistant pastor. A member of the church council, you should know. And that is why I'm telling you what I know. Some of the money he's supposed to be giving us as incentives have been taken to the bishop post, to the headquarter office, while he takes all the other financial and material benefits for that comes from the church. I don't understand your point. Then open your eyes very well. I see that we hope to be higher than this in status. We should be enjoying more than this. We should be living in a better place than this. We should be earning more than what we are earning. Apart from my salary as assistant pastor in this regional headquarters, I ought to be entitled to many other financial benefits. My dear, we have to be contented and grateful for what God has given unto us now. Your salary is being paid regularly. Though it may not be what you want by now, but it's still good. Our housing allowance is still coming from the church. Though, Though it may not be what it ought to be. <laughs> I have been serving in this church for the past 15 years. Is this the house we're supposed to be living in? A three bedroom house? What of a five bedroom duplex? What of a six bedroom bungalow? Or am I not supposed to have built my own house by now? But the church gave us the car we're using. Ah, ah, ah. A 
a second hand car? I am contented. Godliness plus contentment is great gain. Will you not bring anything to this world? I am not going to take anything out of it. Go on. Go on, preach. Preach it. Preach about godliness and contentment as a great gain. As if, as if I am not fighting for the good of the family. As if when things get better, you and the children will not live well. I am thinking about our future. I am thinking about the future of our children. And always I am bothered too much. Is this how we are going to go on in life? I have served for 15 years as a pastor. And for 7 years as an assistant pastor in this regional headquarters of about 2,000 strong and dedicated members. Hmm. Yet, our standard of living did not improve as much. We may not have all we want, but we should not take for granted the beautiful grace of God over our lives. We may not have all we want, but two of our children are in university. One is even in the final year. We have peace. The Lord has barred us from patronizing hospital for anything. We may not have the best of things, but we have his favor. For no just reason, Temila, dear last child, has just been offered a tuition free scholarship throughout our senior secondary school. So for the next three years, we will only be buying books. And and where is the money to even buy the books? Where is the money? I'm the one that should be making these complaints. I am making this complaint because you refuse to see what I want you to see. Uh, by the way, I forgot to tell you. I will be traveling tomorrow. Where to? Abuja. To the headquarters office. I wish to have an appointment with a man of God. I will be calling back the next day. Oh. Where? where? Shh. Enough of words. I want to sleep. tired of being an assistant pastor yes sir i have served this man for seven or eight years my condition never changed for better sir didn't the bible says they that serve by the altar shall live by the altar my condition is not like that i am serving by the altar yet i am dying by the altar by now see hardly my wife could put anything on the table for us. Yet, my pastor swims in, in the riches of the altar. He lives sumptuously on both part of the tithe and offering that comes into the church. 
in addition to attracting all the rich people in the church to himself. I have decided... A.P. Joshua. Yes, Pastor. Why are you telling me all this? Sir, I need your help. I know you can help me out. How? What do you want me to do to all this? Take me to the special assistant to the general overseer in charge of administration and personnel. Ah, Pastor Gideon? Who told you I have access to the man? You sure do, sir. I have done my findings and I found out that this man has a hand in the transfer of pastors to choice branches in the city of this country. He also has his hand in the transfer of two of my friends to the choice branch in Joss and Benin City. Please, take me to him. I can't help you. I don't have access to the man. You do, sir. Huh. You can help me. Help me like you did to Pastor Abbas and his wife. Uh, what do you know about Pastor Abbas and his wife? You took them to Pastor Gideon. Next, the news we heard was that they were being transferred to South Africa as the new Southern African Regional Overseer. They now head the mega, mega church in Durban. Mm -hmm. So, what are you driving at? You sure do, sir. Uh, my investigation reveals that the people that come to you for this, for things like this, must come with a loaded hand. Here is fifty thousand naira. I borrowed this money for this for this purpose. Please, I would do more if I had more. Please don't reject this. I would I would do more if it worked out the way I desired. What exactly do you want? I have served enough as an assistant pastor. I wish to take over as the senior pastor of the regional headquarters church. Please. Is this all you've brought? What then are you going to take to the special assistant to the general overseer? I still have with me 200,000 naira for him. 200,000 naira? Eh? Hey. What makes you think that my role is so cheap for you to have brought ordinary 50,000 naira to me? Can you go to the man yourself? Please, advise me. Add 50,000 Naira to this one. And give the man 150,000 Naira. I will tell him that you will bring the balance when the job is done. Must be ready to give the man between six hundred and eight hundred thousand naira. Ha! How will I get that? Won't that be too much? You pay instrumentally. At least, as the senior pastor of the regional headquarters, you can raise the money in one service or two. <sighs> then what next? Yeah, he's still in town. And um, there is Bible study this evening, and um, you'll be there. So, 
We go to the Bible study, then uh, we go to his house in the evening. How about that? Okay. Thank you very much, sir. Go ahead, have a drink. Thank, Thank you, sir. You, sir. Come in. Well, son. Yes. You have a letter, son. Ah, okay. Thank you. How many people are there for counseling? Uh, about 20 people are still waiting in the conference hall. Okay. Uh, when I'm ready, I will call you. Okay, son. Okay. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. James, uh, come in quickly. Um, James. Yes, sir. I won't be able to attend to anyone now. Uh, Hope no problem, sir. It is well. Ask Pastor Joshua to attend to those people. Okay, sir. I have to go right away.
Oh no! What have we done wrong? Sweetheart, we have done nothing wrong. But I believe that um, this is for our lifting. I don't seem to get you. Eh? That we are being transferred from this big church in Lagos to a small church in Ilefe is a promotion? Oh! Eh? Why can't we be transferred to the Eastern Regional Headquarters in Enugu? Huh? Oh, the National Headquarters in Abuja? Huh? The Missionary Headquarters is there in Jones? Oh, even in our branches in England or United States? Huh? Ileife in Ocean State. Oh. Sweetheart, I honestly don't have answers to all these questions. But all I know is that. Um, all things work together for good to them that love the Lord and are called according to his good purpose. It is well. It is well. It is well. What happened? Something strange. Ah. Very unexpected. Our pastor has been transferred. Ah. Our pastor? Who told you? The letter was given to him this afternoon. See, you need to see him. He was shaking all over. Ah. It was unexpected. And where is he transferred to? To Ileife in Oshun State. Ah. I don't know what he did to deserve this. From a regional headquarters to a local branch in Oshun State. I can't understand this. And where are they transferring here to take over from? Come on, you. Us? Oh my god. You mean you were instructed to take over or you just wish to step in as a pastor? The instruction was there in the letter of transfer that he should hand over to me as the new pastor of the regional headquarters church. Oh, I can't believe this. This is so good to be real. <laughs> oh, it is true, honey. You see, you see, the Lord made his things beautiful in his own time. He has promoted us in his own time. But 
But why should they transfer daddy to such a place? I take that as a demotion for him. Do you want to query the workings of God? Let the will of God be done. Even though it is unpleasant to us. Heard all your stories. I don't ordinarily attend to people this way, but for the intervention of Pastor Mai. Ah, thank you very much, sir. I appreciate it, sir. Well, I will collect the one hundred and fifty thousand naira from you now. <laughs> thank you very much, sir. Thank you, sir. But our agreement is that you deposit one hundred thousand naira into my account every month for the next one year. After one year as the regional overseer in that church, then we will renew the agreement. I may review the monthly deposit upward or downward. It all depends. Sir, what if I am transferred again? <laughs> hmm. Every transfer in this church starts and ends on my table. So, if you fail in your agreement, then I will throw you to that part of this country where you will not smell Lagos for a very long time. Okay, sir. I will keep my word. I will keep my word. Then, go back home and expect the letter. Congratulations. <laughs> Thank you very much, sir. <laughs> Thank you, sir. There goes Pastor David Bobaniji. And here comes Pastor Joshua Eniola, the new resident pastor of Regional Headquarters Church. <laughs> and probably yet to be appointed the new Regional Overseer of the West. We got the letter of our transfer this afternoon. Letter of transfer? Oh my God. To where? To one of our branches at uh, Ileife. No, 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 Shagun. It's not a punishment. You see, it is the Lord who does the transfer of his servants to wherever he desires to use them. So it's not a punishment, Shevon. You see, I want you to know that the Lord whom we serve and who has been taking care of you is in charge of the entire situation. <laughs> All right, Dad. Uh, it is the authority and we cannot question them because God knows about everything. Ah, uh, don't worry, Shekmo. We will call you before we leave. What about you? How do you inform her? Uh, we will call her when we finish speaking with you. Okay. God bless you, Shekmo. Oh. All right. It is well. It means 
I have to do my school. <sighs> yes, my girl. Oh, we'll get you a new school in the lake then. Hmm? And they have many goods around the schools there. They also have a university. Don't worry. The Lord is in control. I miss all my friends. In the GS3 class. Such is life, my girl. We all miss all the wonderful church members we have here in Lagos. I'm sure we'll make new friends in the Lagos. And we'll also have new church members. Um, Please take this to your tiny table and tell your father that the table is set. Hmm? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You are not happy that God is relocating us to live, eh? Daddy, Holy Seth is a very small local church. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, a small church, but with very strong and living souls. Finn, we are God's servants. Wherever he sends us, we go, my girl. He is the master and the Lord. Okay? What's cooking, sweetheart? Mm. Pastor Joshua, uh, the Lord bless you. You're welcome. Good evening, You're welcome, my sister. Good evening. You're welcome. Okay, good. Now, join us at the table. Come and join us. Oh, no, sir. Thank you very much, sir. We've just had our dinner before coming. Okay. Okay. It's a very surprising thing this afternoon when you told me about your transfer. Well, it was a surprise to us also. But that's how the Lord works with his servants. He sends them to wherever he wills. The Lord knows best. Oh, yes. I never expected that you will be instructed to hand over to me. I am too young for this. They should have brought another pastor from a regional headquarters to this place. Mm. Ah. It's still like a dream to me. It's like a dream to me. <laughs> pastor Joshua. You have been an assistant pastor in this regional headquarters for many years. So, you are not too young for this work. Listen, if your hands are clean and your heart is right before the Lord, you would pastor this church successfully. 
Amen. Amen. Ah, thank you very much, sir, for your timely advice and encouragement. So, um, when are you leaving? Um, I was instructed to report at my new base by this weekend so that I would preach my first sermon there this Sunday. It was a sudden order, but I will comply. Mm. Don't worry, I will get you your handover notes before Friday. Ah. The Lord is our strength, sir. Amen. 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 The Lord is our strength. Amen. Amen. Ah, Pastor Joshua. Ah, well, thank you very much, sir. And thank you, my sister. Thank you so much, Ma. I know that it is well. Amen. Thank you very much. everything into your hands. My wife, my children, my family, their welfare. Everything is in your hands, Lord. I don't understand this kind of transfer. But only you, Lord, understand it. Because you know everything. <sighs> only you can explain why a regional overseer will be transferred to another church, a local church, in another town. Huh? Lord, how will my family feel? Eh? How will my family feel? Huh? Provisions from those loving church members. Huh. How will I pay those university school fees? Eh? Those demands of these children. Hey. With that small church in the leaf. But I trust you. I trust you.
What are you doing not sleeping? Which fries are these? I got these fries from the church office. What information are you compiling? Woman, please, go and sleep and let me concentrate. You collected these files from the pastor's office. First of only tithes and offerings. First of mission contributions. First of salaries and remuneration. And back tell us of savings. Why can't you be patient till the man goes before you break into his office? I didn't break into his office. His secretary handed these files to me. You know, the man's supposed to leave this week. And I need to verify some records before he gives me his handover note. For instance, that car. Which car? The car he rides in is an official car of the resident pastor of the regional headquarters church. I knew when the church gathered money to buy it, so he mustn't go with it. This is ridiculous. So, you will expect the whole former regional overseer to be moving about on motorcycles after leaving this place? His new church must be able to get a car for their pastor. The same thing goes for the for the leather settee in the living room and the set of chairs in the dining room. They all belong to the office of the regional overseer. Hmm. I'm amazed at your sudden interest in the financial records of the church. This is strange. What is strange? Do you know the reason why I woke up? Unless you tell me. I don't know why my mind kept on going back to what Daddy said when we were in his house. And what was that? He said, if your hands are clean and your heart is right, you will succeed in pastoring this church. So? Hmm. I just need an assurance from you. Then your hands are clean and your heart is right in this whole matter. Are you doubting me? Or are you thinking I know anything about this transfer? The man got the letter of transfer just yesterday. Then entering into his office to gather files on financial records is an impatient move. I do hope you know nothing about this transfer and takeover. Look, woman, why can't we always see the same thing like husband and wife? Because I don't see what you want me to see. Then open your eyes well. I'm not blind. I don't think so. What does that statement supposed to mean? Interpret it yourself.
Brethren, you're welcome. The Lord bless you. How are you? How are you? Bless you. Bless you. Bless you. How are you doing? You know, when I had your call this morning, that uh, representatives from the men of valor and the women of virtue are coming to see me, I was surprised. And I said, Well, I'll be waiting for you. So, how are you? Please be seated, please be seated. Sit down, sit down, sit down. You're welcome, you're welcome. Yes, you're welcome. Please, what can we offer you? We are okay, thank you, ma. Thank you very much. Bless God. Sir, uh, we thank God for your life and the life of mommy. Mm. See, your lives have blessed us tremendously in this church. You have taught us the undiluted word of God and you have even built us up to know how to live by faith mm -hmm. and trust in the Lord. Mm -hmm. Sir, we were shocked when we heard of your transfer because we didn't prepare for it this time. Well, we are even more shocked when we heard that You'll be leaving this Friday <laughs> to preach in that church. Well, it's a surprise to us. Sir, we so much enjoy your parental care mm -hmm. in our lives. Yes, so, that is why we came together to present you this token of love from our hearts. A gift? Uh, sir, here is what we brought for you, sir. Uh -huh. ah. Ah. It's just a Parisa. Doctor Isike. Dick and Dixie. Ah. Hey. Thank you ah. very much. You deserve more than this, sir. Eh? And sir? We'd like to see you outside, if you won't mind, sir. Can I go somewhere? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. <laughs> The Lord laid it upon our hearts to present this jeep to you and your family, sir. Oh! A gift? Ah! Oh! Here's the key, sir. We are aware the car you are riding is an official one. Mm -hmm. And it belongs to the regional headquarters. And you cannot take the car along with you. And yet, you deserve a car. Thank you. Actually, sir, we have been planning this for a long time. I've been told you're coming back day. So, but we thank God we're able to do it now. Thank you. <laughs> thank you, my dream. The Lord will honor you all. Amen. <laughs>
This is a pleasant surprise. Ah, we are not expecting anything like this. Ah. <laughs> we were thinking that um, we would be able to give our last sermon mm. in mm. church on Sunday mm. and have a farewell speech and thanksgiving service with the brethren. Mm. But we were ordered to report at a new base on Friday and preach there on Sunday. We are surprised. Mm. Okay. Well, anyway, we will be at the revival service tomorrow night. Oh, that's and we will be able to speak to the brethren. That's the Lord will lift you up. Amen. The Lord will bless you and keep you. Amen. Amen. the inscription on the wall. This is our new church, I suppose. Yes. This is it. Pentecost Renewal Center. Elefe Branch. Praise God. my girl. Nothing. This is just where the Lord wants us to be at this time. Hmm? We are all serving the Lord together with your father. 
We are in the service together. So stop crying, my girl. Stop crying, my girl. Don't cry, my girl. That's okay. <sighs> well, I've looked around and um, it's okay. It's okay. So, where are the church members? And where is the church office? Uh, well, uh, probably when it's time for Bible study or Sunday school preparations, they will come around. First of all, I think I need to locate the assistant pastor. Okay. Probably his residence or something. Daddy, where is our house? The pastor's house? No. Let's just be patient. Let's just be patient. We will sort everything out. Don't worry. God is in control. Amen. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go.
Assistant Pastor Dixon. They can call her there. What was your argument about? We are very sorry for disturbing you, sir. It was not an argument per se, but a sort of misunderstanding. I was trying to explain something to him, but he simply refused to understand. No, I believe in obeying constituted authorities. The regional overseer has spoken, and I have no choice but to strictly adhere to whatever he says. He said you instructed, sir, that the missionary offering should henceforth be divided into two. Half should go into the mission account, and the other half be deposited in the miscellaneous account for only of such expenses. But I said he misunderstood you, sir, because that is not the way we run Assistant things. Assistant Pastor Dixon. Yes, sir. Time and rules change. A static organization remains in change. We are changing the patterns. So, it is right. It must be done the way I instructed. Same thing goes to the tithes and offerings. 50% goes to the miscellaneous account of the church. And the rest goes to the national headquarters. Well, uh, it's all right, sir. It's only that I was not informed earlier. I'm very sorry for the misunderstanding. Ah, no, 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 no. I am sorry I should have informed you before now. It's okay. Uh, I hope everything is clear now. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So, uh, Thanks, sir. All right. Thank you, sir. You look dampened. What happened? Pastor, people were excited again at your preaching this morning. <laughs> so you enjoyed it? No. I didn't. No? Why did you become a motivational speaker? The messages that are coming from the altar these days, they are more or less motivational speeches that do not rebuke sin or point people's attention to heaven. Is that your judgment? Hmm. My dear, the whole message this morning lacked divine inspiration but was full of references to the worldly men that made it to the top. For about 20 minutes, we were talking about a wealthy unbeliever businessman in Nigeria who made his money through determination and hard work. Of course, where is the importance of Psalm 127 verse 1? That says, unless the Lord build the house, the labor in vain who builds it. Unless the Lord guards the city, the watchman stays awake in vain. You see, I do not undermine the power of hard work and determination. But your motivational talk this morning, like many other motivational speakers, took people's eyes away from faith in God and in His power and place sources solely on human efforts. So, you mean you were never blessed with my message this morning? No. Because it was your message, not God's message.
I don't have 50,000 Naira now. You can go and come back. You have no choice. You must give her the money. Oh, Ricoret! Ricoret! Oh, 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 oh. oh.